In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a mod that makes Elden Ring even harder. It's called Elden Ring Ascended. Now, obviously, this mod makes the game more difficult, but you can see there are several other changes, like, for example, Var being a complete badass, but also the armor in the game has a different kind of unique way that it works. As you can see here, there are effects that can vastly change the way you play the game on different armor pieces. So it's not like you're playing normal Elden Ring. It's definitely not. One major change is the things like skills and Ash of Wars and like sorceries cost a lot more and sometimes don't deal enough damage or a lot more damage. So you're not going to be cheesing the game as much as you can in normal Elden Ring, right? But you can see some of the armor things like the one I'm using right now actually gives me FP regen. So my FP actually goes up quite a lot, quite often, as you can see here, it's just constantly regening. But you'll also see, you'll also take status damage effects, like right now I'm poisoned, and this poison hurts. And as various different types of enemies hit you, you will actually build up madness, poison, frost buildup, and all, all the different things that you can imagine, even like fire and burn and stuff. And it's going to make it very hard to play this game. Okay, so let's go about telling you how to install this mod, right? So there is an intricate process. First, you need to go into your game and you need to make sure that you go into offline mode and make sure it always starts up in offline mode. And to do this, you go to system, you go to the global earth picture or the world picture, go to the launch setting and make sure it says play offline, right? And then just go back to the main menu and here you can quit the game so that it always launches in offline. This is so that you don't get banned for, you know, using mods in online accidentally. So if you go to the link in the description for the anti-cheat toggler on and offline launcher, right? This lets you basically play the game with the anti-cheat off here. There is some information here you can read about if you want to understand more about how it works. But what we're going to do is go to files. Obviously, once you've logged into Nexus Mods, now this is completely free. You don't have to pay anything here. You're going to go to the main files here and you're going to download the first one over here. Basically, this is going to let us turn anti-cheat off and click slow download so that it begins. So with that downloaded, I recommend using WinRAW or WinZip or something, whatever you have to right click and extract the files wherever they are in your download folder, for example, here. So this is going to extract all the files. These are the ones that we got out of the zip. Now we can go ahead and delete the zip itself because we no longer need this. Now we need to paste this into the game files, right? So you're going to select all of it. You're going to right click and cut or copy whichever one you want to do. I just use cut because I'm going to be moving it completely. Go to Steam, right click your Elden Ring, manage, and then browse local files. This will open up the game, hit game, make sure you're on this screen over here, and then you just paste it, right? So you just paste it straight in there. And there you go, right? And to actually deactivate the anti-cheat, you just have to select this thing over here and you'll see here it says anti-cheat disabled, right? That's perfect. If you want to re-enable it, you just double click that same thing again to re-enable anti-cheat so that you can play normally again. Now there's another link in the description and this is for the Elden Ring Ascended mod. Since we can now install this after having the anti-cheat mod, right? Now this mod will actually change a bunch of the armor and even if you alter the armor in the game, it gives you different effects like, you know, 16% max HP. So you're gonna, getting, you're gonna be getting like huge increases to your health or your damage or like resistance and various things, which is fantastic. But also the enemies are gonna be very, very hard. On this page here, you'll read a bunch of information on how to install the mod in particular and, you know, any other things that you might need to know in case you are a little bit confused by my explanation for whatever reason. So feel free to go read up on all of these different things too. Now when you're ready, just go back to the file section over here like we did with the previous mod and you'll see here under main files, click manual download because we're going to do this manually. And that's going to download, hit slow download to get the download for free. Now, as we did before with the file downloaded, we're going to use WinRAW to extract here. Now, WinRAW is free. You can get it for free online, which is fantastic. And then here we have the two files that we need, the folder, which has all the files, and then this regulation bin we're going to be using, right? So first off, you can open up the game again, and this time we're going to create a new game. We're going to make a new character to test this on to make sure it works. You are able to use this on your other saves as well, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to uninstall the mod so that you can go back to your normal kind of save, right? So I do recommend playing and experimenting on a new character, however, and starting from scratch, which gives you the best experience to this thing here. So just make a new character. Now, just as a point of reference, this is what our damage is right at the base of the beginning of the game. No levels, anything. We're just out here hitting regular enemies and showing you their damage. We're going to see how much harder they are in a second. Okay, so back to those files, right? The folder and the regulation.bin file, right? So we're first going to copy the stuff in the folder over here. So open up the folder. 
select everything inside and then right click copy or cut. I, as I told you, always cut instead because I'm going to move it entirely. Go back to your games folder. This you can obviously get from the Steam page as I showed you earlier where you pasted the other stuff and you're gonna paste this in your game folder as well with all of these bunch of different files here. Now, one thing you are gonna wanna do is make a backup of your regulation file that's already in your game folder, right? So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna make a backup of it over here, right? I'm going to go to where the other regulation is and we're gonna make a new folder and we're just gonna call it backup. Now, this is in case you've done something wrong and you wanna fix your normal game, go to the backup here and paste your regulation bin somewhere safe where you can keep it, you know, before you put the new one in. Now, this is the new one. We're gonna cut the new one and we're gonna paste it into the game folder and this is going to replace the original one, right? And now we're basically ready, right? We have anti-cheat turned off as we press that button earlier. And now in order to start the mod, you have to go to this file over here, launch mod underscore Elden Ring. This is the one that's going to open up the game in the modded version, right? So just double click that and that will open up your game. And now it will be modded to be very, very different from what Elden Ring usually was. To show you my difference of damage playing that same save file that we had, you can see here my damage is nowhere near as strong as it was previously. And also the enemy, after getting a hit a few times, develops a buff where they take a lot less damage, right? Their resistance is a lot more. So I have to hit them many more times to actually be more effective. And also they hit much harder in return. A lot of the weapons will also have like special effects. You can see my axe now has like a glowing ice effect, which looks fantastic, but doesn't actually do frost. So, so don't hope for the best here. And you can see here, the golden tree sentinel now builds up madness on you. So if he hits you like two or three times, you're gonna be propped with madness and he's probably gonna kill you anyway. And like you saw at the beginning of the video, if you anger Var, he plays in a completely different way than when you fight him on the normal game, right? He has a giant weapon and he is willing to destroy the absolute madness out of you very easily to actually say as well. So if you're looking for something more of a challenge than Elden Ring already was and you really want to suffer, I guess go for it. I mean, Black Flames burning me to death is fantastic. This game will get a whole lot more interesting and difficult too. So if you like a challenge, it's worth a try trying this mod out. Now, if you want to uninstall the mod and go back to your normal game, just go to Steam, find your game, right click it, and you're going to go to properties right at the bottom. Then you're gonna go to local files and right at the bottom, there will be a verify file integrities. You know, just click this, it will verify everything and it will re-download a particular file so that it can fix your game. And another thing that you need to fix is in your Elden Ring browse local files, go into the files where your game is located like this, as we did earlier. We're going to go and replace that regulation file with the backup that we made. So put the backup of that regulation file back in here and replace the one that we added in here so that you can have your original placed here instead. Now you will notice that all the files from the mods that you downloaded will still be here. So if you at any point want to keep playing again, all you have to do is replace that regulation bin with the modded one and also make sure you toggle the anti-cheat until it says anti-cheat disabled. If you want to go back to online without the mod, you just make sure it says anti-cheat enabled. Now this can be quite a scary process if you haven't modded games before. So I understand if you wanna take this slow and be very careful, you're welcome to ask me as many questions as you like in the comments. I do reply to every single one. And I do hope you manage to give this a shot if you have the courage to try Elden Ring on hard mode. <laughs> and good luck guys, I'll see you guys in the future.